Hello kids, how are you? I am Professor Esmeralda. In this new video, we will talk about the area of a rhombus. A rhombus, young people and children, is a geometric figure with four sides that are all the same length. A rhombus is a type of quadrilateral where its opposite angles are equal and the sum of all its angles is 360 degrees. The area of the rhombus refers to the space enclosed within its four sides. This space is measured in square units like square centimeters or square meters. The area of the rhombus is calculated using its two diagonals. One of them is usually smaller and is called the minor diagonal, represented by the lowercase letter d. The other diagonal is larger and is called the major diagonal. The major diagonal is represented by the uppercase d. Although the position of the diagonals can vary, usually the major diagonal is vertical and the minor diagonal is horizontal. The formula young people and children to calculate the area of a rhombus is area equals major diagonal times minor diagonal divided by 2. I will show you some examples. Find the area of a rhombus whose diagonals measure 16 centimeters and 10 centimeters. In order to solve this exercise, we will use the formula that we just reviewed. The formula states that the area is equal to the major diagonal multiplied by the minor diagonal and then the result is divided by 2. We substitute the values into the formula. In this case, the major diagonal measures 16 centimeters and the minor diagonal measures 10 centimeters. So the formula is area equals 16 centimeters times 10 centimeters divided by 2. First, we multiply the lengths of the diagonals, which are 16 centimeters and 10 centimeters. This multiplication results in a product of 160. Since these are measurements in centimeters, by multiplying centimeter by centimeter, we obtain square centimeters. Therefore, the final result is 160 square centimeters. After obtaining that result, we then proceed to divide it by 2. 160 divided by 2 equals 80 square centimeters. Example 2. Calculate the area of a rhombus where the major diagonal measures 40 meters and the minor diagonal measures 30 meters. We use the formula. Area is equal to major diagonal times minor diagonal divided by 2. We substitute the values into the formula resulting in area is equal to 40 meters times 30 meters divided by 2. First, we multiply 40 by 30, which gives us a product of 1,200. Next, we multiply meter by meter, which is equal to a square meter. In other words, the final result is 1,200 square meters. Next, we divide by 2. Dividing 1,200 by 2 gives us 600. The area of the rhombus is equal to a total of 600 square meters. Example 3. What is the area of a rhombus whose major diagonal measures 30 centimeters and the minor diagonal 1 half? For this exercise, we know that the longest diagonal measures 30 centimeters. To find the shorter diagonal, we simply take the length of 30 centimeters and divide it by 2, which results in a measurement of 15 centimeters. Now that we know each diagonal's value, we use the formula and substitute this way. Area is equal to 30 centimeters times 15 centimeters divided by 2. Next, we multiply 30 by 15, which results in a product of 450, and multiplying centimeter by centimeter gives us the unit of square centimeters.
In other words, it is 450 square centimeters. We divide this amount by 2. When you take the number 450 and divide it by 2, it equals 225. The area of the rhombus, therefore, can be calculated to be equal to 225 square centimeters. All right, young people and children, let's all play a fun game to reinforce what we have learned in this video. Let's start. A rhombus has a longer diagonal measuring 12 centimeters and a shorter diagonal measuring 8 centimeters. What is the area of this rhombus? Option A, Option B, Option C, or Option D? Forty-eight square centimeters. Excellent! Look at the following image, and I ask you, what is the area of a rhombus that has a major diagonal of 9 centimeters and a minor diagonal of 5 centimeters? Option A, Option B, Option C, or Option D? Excellent! 22.5 square centimeters. Consider the following question. A rhombus has a minor diagonal measuring 16 centimeters. What is its area? A, B, C or D? Excellent! 160 square centimeters. Let's look at the following exercise. Maria built a kite in the shape of a rhombus. The major diagonal of the kite measures 14 centimeters and the minor diagonal measures 10 centimeters. What is the area of the kite? Excellent! 70 square centimeters. Let's look at the following image. Julian has a plot of land in the shape of a rhombus. The major diagonal measures 24 meters and the minor diagonal measures 18 meters. What is the area of the plot? 216 square meters, 217 square meters, 218 square meters or 220 square meters. Hundred sixteen square meters. Excellent! In a store, they sell a mirror in the shape of a rhombus. The diagonals of the shape measure 8 centimeters and 5 centimeters. What is the area of the shape? 17 square centimeters, 18 square centimeters, 19 square centimeters, or 20 square centimeters. square centimeters excellent youth and children I hope you have understood this beautiful content and I warmly invite you to engage in various exercises to discover and explore the area of a rhombus at the same time make sure not to forget to use the formula correctly in order to find the results accurately well young people and children we will continue to see you in other videos with new and more content. Take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.